Right, welcome back to another episode of Every Single Shot, where I will be taking on uh, the Nicholas course at Carden Park. This is the front nine. First hole is a par four, 375 yards, dog leg right to left. Throughout this video, there's one question that springs to mind, and that is, uh, well, am I cheating? And uh, we'll get the answer to that a little bit further on in the video. But for now, I've just got to, uh, it's right to left, doesn't really suit my shot shape on the first hole. I don't mind trying a little bit of a draw once I'm in a bit of a groove. But for now, it's as tight as I can to that tree line down the left. And believe me, that is uh, literally dicing with it a little bit, but it's a perfect start because with that line, I've literally gone shortest route I can possibly take and that won't leave a great deal in. It's just 125 into a flag that's tucked to the left. Um, not a lot of room past the flag or to the left of it. So this one is going to be hopefully a little bit of a cut. And you want it to finish right of the flag. And that's a safe shot. It's pin eye, decent second shot. More than happy with the way that started. I've got a look at a birdie on the first hole, which is uh, what's always nice. Just where they can find the pace from the get go. And it could do a bit better than that. And oh, Jesus, there's a bit of a look of disgust there because, uh, well, with a foot to go, I must admit, I thought that was uh, that was whole. But anyway, a nice, easy four to start the day, which is always nice. So second hole, playing this one a bit further back. We're off the whites today. It's 375 yards. I've got a five wood in hand. I'm looking for, you know, if I can get 220 out of this, there's two tall trees left and right of the fairway that you can see, so it's fairly narrow. It's just a case of can you get one through the middle of those two. And a low a little bit tight to that right-hand side. It just comes back a little. I think I actually catch the end branches of that uh, oak tree on the right. But, um, but because of that, it's just left nothing more than uh, just over 100 in again. Wedge straight at it. Uh, plenty of green at the back of it, so you can afford to go for this one. Um, and I eye this one down for a while because it ever etches close to the hole. And a real good look. It was a great wedge in, to be fair. Really pleased with it. So, these kind of the chances that, you know, at my level, you've got to try and make. Because I don't make a lot of birdie putts and uh, or get a lot of close chances. And there's a big swing and straight away, you could see uh, I fancied that one with a couple of foot to go. And that's a nice birdie to go one under. Really pleased. Right, tough par three, 168. Um, pin is on the back tier. This is a two tier green. You've got to try and find that tier if you can. I'm playing six iron and I just try and I forced it a little bit. Tried to hit one in a little bit uh, controlled and uh, well, smothered it and ended up in a really steep bunker. This is not an easy shot at all. Uh, I don't mind playing from bunkers, but this is, uh, well, that's a proper decent shot to be fair I'm more than pleased with that and to leave sort of uh, whatever that is six foot maybe to try and rescue par after a real poor tee shot been putting well in recent weeks this is just straight at it and yeah a great up and down so one under onto the par five everything is going really well driver in and 502 yards as they always do a very short practice swing and uh, well, not much longer drive, but uh, just leaked that one a little. It wasn't the best to drive, but like with these clubs nowadays, you tend to get away with a little. It's done better than it probably should have. A lot of bunkers up top. It's about guiding now uh, a hybrid, just getting in another couple of hundred yards up the fairway and avoiding those bunkers, uh, which it did. And now leave a bit of an awkward one, really. It's 100 yards in into the breeze. You'll see that sort of shortened follow through. I tried to hit one in low and chase it up the green, which I did, uh, but it just chased on a little bit through and left a real awkward one. Uh, the lie wasn't bad, but we just had, this, as you can see, it's all downhill from here. I popped it up reasonably nice, but like I said, with the way the green is running away, really difficult to, um, to get the pace and left an awkward one for par which was really, really close to going in, and that would have been a good save. But unfortunately, that's a bogey on a par five, which I shouldn't be doing. Really annoyed with that, especially from sort of 100 yards in. 
I should be in the green there and give myself a birdie chance and walk off with bogey. Anyway, put that one behind me. 375 yards, drivers back out. Uh, good solid strike. Uh, again, just a little bit down that left hand side. I think I just find the first cut if I can remember. Uh, yeah, and now I still have 170 in, um, but it's a real good iron. This is solid. Love it when you get an iron going at the flag. Um, I played seven iron, I thought it was going to kick down the green again. I give it a bit of a thumbs up, really pleased with that, but not as close as what it looked uh, from where I was stood, and clearly perhaps a, a club short. So again, it's a birdie chance still, and um, a nice pace running at the hole. Just sneaked away down the right-hand side. But an easy four, and at level par, I'm more than happy at this point. Things are going good. Uh, great hole. I mean, I just love this hole. It's got to be, from where I'm playing today, I'm playing hybrid, uh, staying well clear of the water. And again, a little bit of that draw shape now, getting to loosen up a bit. Really pleased with the way that's come to rest. And um, this is an interesting one. I've got a wedge right at the flag, means taking on the bunker. I was actually aiming a little bit left, more left than that, to be honest with you. That goes right at the flag. And looks really good but you can see where i repaired the pitch mark is right on the upslope and it spun back down one hop forward or a yard further forward and i've got a real decent birdie chance but as it is it's come back down the tier and a uh, bit of an awkward one because half the putt is up the hill and that other half is sort of flattens out at the top so these are difficult putts just to get the pace right and again Right, I'm really pleased with that. It's not a realistic birdie chance for me, that. It's a case of just getting the pace and getting your two put, which I got again, and uh, yet again remain at level par. So it's a real tough hole, this one. Um, hole seven, it's 419 yards, but the line, you've got to stay tight down that path if you want to go to the shortest route. And uh, I've just got a little bit greedy here. Now it's really dicing with it because apart from the path there's some water runs just left of the path and as you can see unfortunately there's my ball come to rest and uh, I couldn't even get down to get that one I had to leave it there as well yep that's the one a tour response striped anyway take a drop because I went on the shortest route you've only got a nine iron into the hole um, it could have been wedge actually it was only around 120 in and I got this going right at the flag and striking the iron so well at the moment. Again, just not the yardage, um, just a club short realistically. So again, it's about getting the pace right. This one's uphill. And as you can see, uh, I didn't manage to get that pace right. But it was a decent line and I know the line, so I tend to just walk up to these and just commit if I think that I've just hit it on the right line and, and, and continue with it. If I dwell on it, I just feel like you're just second guessing. And um, yeah, anyway, we're on to um, hole eight, just a par three, 129, real awkward pin. It's right in front of that oak tree. There's no green to the left hand side. So you need to be landing, aiming just right to the flag. And as you can see, I did the complete opposite and I pulled it down the left hand side and that was a pretty awful shot from just 129 yards away. So again, we've all had these shots, a bit awkward, sitting a little bit down. I just wanted to get it up and running as soon as I could and just carry that a little bit too far, hit the firmer stuff and uh, well, it carried through. And now again, I've got to try and make uh, well to put to save par which straight away as you can see when it left the club that was never going to make par and uh, unfortunately that's back to back bogeys so with one to play on this uh, front nine we take on uh, the par five ninth hole and hopefully a chance to get back uh, maybe get a birdie to finish the front nine I want to try and it's left to right as uh, the shape of the hole but that's way too tight uh, down that right hand side and that's going to leave me in the rough it's nestled down a little bit and to get back in this one it needs a real good hybrid because uh, about 180 yards down there's some water that crosses uh, through the fairway but i got that absolutely solid and got into a real good position to uh, should leave a short wedge into the green 
which it did. It left about, I think it was 68 yards. I've got a 58 wedge, and it's a case of just going straight at it. I uh, flicked it up really nice, clean contact, and had this ball coming right down on the flag. And uh, yes, I had that birdie opportunity to get back down to, uh, to just one over par. This would have been a nice finish to the uh, to the front nine. But unfortunately, again, uh, just a weak putt. It was never on the right line, but it was always weak as well. But I finished two over, and the question is, am I cheating? That's what I titled the video, because right now what's been happening of late, I've posted quite a number of videos with me playing uh, nine holes, 18 holes, and um, don't forget, nine handicap golfer. Uh, that was two over par. And uh, I'm just questioning whether or not I'm putting in enough cards such as these into the WHO system and getting an accurate um, handicap. So my comments down to you below are, um, I'm not official member of a club right now, but should I be posting these kind of scores? Are you able to just post nine whole scores? Because I'm pretty sure they'd be affecting my handicap in a positive way and I just feel like I'm cheating the system at the moment and perhaps I don't fully understand it either so if you can help me out in the comments below I'd, uh, I'd appreciate it and let me know how I should be posting these scores to uh, keep maybe a more accurate uh, record of my handicap anyway thanks for watching the front nine I will post the back nine next week and uh, I look forward to seeing you then thanks for watching bye now